You know how you're kind of addicted to your radio and you want to take it with you everywhere and you switch cars or you might have a couple different cars or you want to take it in your friend's car but you don't want to wire everything to the battery and have I got the hack for you? Oh, this is your lucky day. So this is just a two meter band and 70 centimeter band but it's way better than this which is my tri-band. Yesu VX6 where I used to have to stick the antenna out the window to really get anything because Teslas are kind of even the glass is metalized but hey I got an outside antenna check this out yeah buddy see and everybody complains about the big gaps between the doors and things on Teslas <laughs> I love it because look at yeah buddy, yeah, buddy. The only issue here is when the door opens and closes, you gotta move the antenna out of the way because on account of, but that's not a really big deal on account of, this is a mag mount on a hitch extender. But I wanna show you how this is put together back here. Everything is tossed down here, which is a horrible idea, but let's just put it together and I just wanted to see if it works and it's working. It's in cigarette lighter. This is VR dash N 7500. 50 watts, two meter, 70 centimeter. Look at how tiny it is because it fits down in here. And everybody that says it's not possible to do right into the 12 volt outlet, well, it is in a Tesla. It's not the best idea, but with a 50 watt, not a big deal. I wish I had gotten a smoother metal because the magnet would stick better so I'm gonna to have to use these lashing straps if I go on a trip just on a jig kind of jiggling I will say I'm going to get a lip mount and I'm gonna put it right here with this big old gap this is a bigger gap than the other gaps that I said I didn't mind because on account of this there is a little bit of a pinch point there the only reason that I really did the hitch thing is because then I can use it on any car with the hitch but it is going to pinch a little bit and over time that would not be a good coax idea now let me show you how this sucker operates so this radio doesn't have any display that's why it has an app and bluetooth to your phone which is rad and then i don't have to use the corded mic because the radio is all the way in the back of the car out of the way which is nice because there's nowhere to put it in a tesla i got this little gizmo from AliExpress. This is also Bluetooth, and I can either select a memory channel that I put on here through that, or I can scroll around with this over here. So we're gonna hit the Columbia Tower. We're here, Seattle's over here, downtown's here, that's where the Columbia Tower is, so let's try it. KG7APU, signal check please. So I'm hitting the tower. Nobody's listening. We'll try Capitol Hill. Listen for a little bit, see if anybody's talking. Sounds clear. KG7 APU, signal check. I'm hitting that one. So no more of this five watt struggle here with my Yesu. Oh, anybody hear me? Oh wait, I'm in the car here, let me do this. Okay, everybody, can everybody hear me now? Can you hear me now? None of that, nope. I got 50 watts, everything's in the back. All the important stuff is up front. And I'm set. Yeah, buddy. There's really nowhere to put a mag mount on a Tesla. That's not metal. That's all glass up there, no metal. Not flat enough here. I don't think a magnet would stick to that anyways. I don't know what that is. That's why I wanna go here. And here's the example of on account of why I did this. This is my other car. I got a hitch. So quick switch from that one to that one when I need to and want to. There. Flashing straps, that ain't going nowhere. Ain't never going nowhere all right now i'm driving away from the north bend repeater which is about 25 miles from here 
behind me. KG7 APU for signal check. I'm hitting it and it's a little bit staticky, but it's not bad. That was VHF. Now let's try the North Bend UHF. We'll listen for a little bit. Doesn't sound like I'm going to be in the middle of anybody's conversation. So, KG7 APU signal check. W7BS. Not bad, huh? Let's check on our antenna back there, shall we? Oh, it looks pretty good. Look at that. Yeah, it's all strapped down. It hasn't moved a bit. <laughs> also, it's behind the car, so there's no wind cranking on that. And now just monitoring, sitting here, waiting for stuff to come through here, making sure I'm good over here. And if I took my phone out of my case, it would be on a charging pad. So, daggum. And I'm literally driving a huge battery. So it's not like I'm gonna run out of power anytime soon. Who's your daddy now? Comments, go ahead. Be cruel or be nice, doesn't matter. Sticks and stones. The funniest cruel ones I will pin to the top because I get a kick out of those and everybody else should too. But I think I have definitively proved it is possible and very useful, practical. So much better than cramming this out the window and trying to get people with five watts. Although this is my favorite radio, literally my favorite radio. It is the best thing, oh my gosh. Now here's a warning. Do never, never do what I do. I'm just showing you what's possible for me, please. Because I've made so many mistakes and ruined so many things. And this might be a dumb idea. And if it is, I will append this video or maybe even take it down. So far it's working great. And you certainly would not want to plug a 100 watt radio, anything over 50 watts into a cigarette later out. But, and look on your car manual to see what the fuse is and to make sure it's a newer car that has good wiring like Tesla's do and look into all that stuff because that could be, even a 50 watt could potentially cause problems with DC socket. Okay, I'm in the Seattle Arboretum now, way far away from North Bend. I'm gonna try again. KG7 APU, radio check. Jeez. Not much static either, can you hear it? Can you see it? Can you hear it? Can you see it? Okay, let's try two meter listening. KG7 APU, radio check. Yeah. I'm hitting it on two meter too. How about that? And of course, as I mentioned, part of the reason for this video is because you're gonna switch cars and you don't wanna to have to wire everything to the battery and go through the firewall. And that may be your friend's car too. Or you might wanna put your radio in your friend's car if you already have a radio in your car like I do in my Jeep. But same rule applies. Check out the wiring of your friend's car because he probably already thinks you're annoying as a ham guy, always talking about ham stuff. And he'll think you're way more annoying if you burn out his wiring. Okay, now I'm down in the Madison Valley. I'm in a valley in Seattle. North Bend is way out there. KG7 APU, signal check. <laughs> I'm still hitting it. Holy smokes, can you see it? Can you hear it? Can you see it? Can you hear it? Okay, let's try UHF. North Bend, same place. KG7 APU, signal check. Dang. Holy smokes. Yeah, buddy. Lots of hills and stuff in the way. Got a nice punch. And I did test the SWR on that antenna and it's 1.2. It's fantastic. Who's your daddy now? And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs>